Tio Blaze. Hey there, this is Tio bringing another Kerbal Space Program video, and today I'm going to be showing you a, a quick, fun build that I did on the space pay, space plane hangar. Um, I like the new look of the uh, sixth generation fighter jets. So, uh, for those that don't know, the uh, like the F-22 Raptor, the F-35, those sort of uh, relatively new planes are, I think, I believe, uh, fifth generation. So, sixth generation basically refers to any new fighter jets that are uh, still in development, still in R&D. And um, the main features that distinguish them from the current jets in service would be things like ad more advanced stealth. So, the fifth generation's already got some stealth tech. Uh, some of them have more virtual cockpits for the uh, for the pilots. You know things in their helmets, displays, and screens and whatnot. And uh, also that some of them, I believe, will be optionally unmanned. So I guess they're at some point looking to get away from using pilots at all for some some missions, maybe or some applications. So in KSP, obviously, the only one of those features that really comes into play is the probe core. This plane will be optionally unmanned. <laughs> And uh, I'm also making it flat so that it's, uh, an in, in theory, would have a smaller radar cross-section. And uh, let's pretend that those lifting surfaces and body panels and whatnot are all coated in some kind of advanced stealth. So, uh, yeah, like, like I said, uh, it's going to be a quick video. I like building planes in the space plane hangar. This is where I come to relax sometimes. And I thought I would go ahead and record this since somebody had commented that they like to see builds. Uh, as much as they like to see missions. So, um, one thing to remember, which I had forgotten, is you need to have air intakes. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and slap some on the bottom, I think, is where they'll look best for this build. But there's a few uh, must haves for air breathing planes like this. You got to make sure your center of mass is slightly in front of your rear wheels so that they can actually take off. Got to make sure you have your air breathing engines, your air breathing your air intakes, make sure you have enough lifting surfaces for the mass you're trying to, to fly. I like to go for 60 to 70 meters per second at takeoff speed, so sometimes I'll add lifting surfaces if I need to. If I'm going for max speed, I'll reduce my number of, or amount of lifting surfaces so I don't have as much drag. So the more wings you have, the easier it is to provide lift, but the slower you might go uh, in the thicker parts of the atmosphere and at higher speeds. So. That's the gist of the video. I'm uh, my first takeoff was successful. My well, my first takeoff attempt. The previous uh, takeoff didn't have my air uh, air intakes on the engine. So I'm gonna go ahead and pitch nose up. See, I've got lots and lots of thrust. Um, I'm already at 50 kilometers. See how high I can. I'll get it. Eh, 51 kilometers apoapsis. So not quite out of the atmosphere, but really high atmosphere flight profile. So this thing would be, I guess, high performing. It'd be fun to fly for sure. And um, one thing I love about KSP-1, they've got that island airfield that you can land on. They've also got the, uh, the coastal uh, launch site up, up, the, up the northeast coast. So when you're just kind of piddling around and flying around, you've got a couple landing options if you don't want to go back to the KSC. And in the early days of me playing KSP-1, uh, I couldn't really land on the airfield to save my life just the the landing strip is so short the uh it's up on the on the hill sort of so that you can't land on the beach or on the coast and uh, let me see if i can put it touch touch down on my first try on this video nope it was a little wobbly so go ahead and <laughs> throttle up and let's come in for another approach so that's it for the video hope you guys enjoyed the content i thought that i'll make it a little short shorter video today that had this recorded and wanted to go ahead and show it off so if you haven't already please subscribe hit the like button leave a comment i like to respond to comments appreciate you for tuning in and as i touch down safely i hope to see you again next time